Let's talk about how we got through the first half of our weekend. A little bit of a different story from what we're seeing today. Yesterday, most of us did remain on the drier side. Temperatures came in in the upper 70s, a few lower 80s scattered across uh, our coastal zones there. And a lot of that to do with the sun that maybe peaked out across their area. So today we are switching that in for temperatures slightly warmer, maybe a degree or two. But we're also adding in the potential for some severe showers and storms making their way into the tri-state. So our highs today positioning themselves in the 80s. As we make our way into tonight, we may see some of that lingering uh, rain hold on. But either way, temperatures in the 60s and 70s even here across uh, the city here. Tomorrow is going to be a gorgeous day. As we welcome Labor Day, I can tell you that we are drying out. It will look like a different day. We are welcoming sunshine as well. We'll have lower humidity values tomorrow, but we will have to account for some breezes as our front will make its way through. Tomorrow, those dew points will be in the 50s, so it is going to be feeling wonderful out there. Here's a look at the winds tomorrow. If you do have, you know, plans on being outdoors and you got a lot of hair like me, you're going to make sure to probably have it in a ponytail because those winds will be coming through. We'll see them pushing in from their northerly direction with high pressure sitting over us. We're expecting them to go anywhere from about 15 to close to 25 miles per hour. Rolling over into Tuesday, here's the high pressure that I've been talking about this morning. It will plant itself for us here across the region from, I'd say, Monday through at least the ending of our work week. So this does mean on Tuesday more bright and dry conditions, but it also comes with a crisp morning. Now, these are our air temperatures. This is not what it will feel like or feel like temperatures. Take a look at what's going up across the Hudson Valley there. We're talking about 30 degree temperatures here in the city. We'll get a dose of it as well. It'll be feeling like the 50s out there and it is going to be lovely. Maybe a nice coat to get you out the doors for Tuesday, but take a look at Wednesday. Perfect day temperatures holding in the 70s for a big chunk of next week. And with that high pressure in place again, we are expecting to remain on the drier side, but also beautiful skies through Friday. And then by the time next weekend arrives, we are looking at another chance for some precipitation making its way into the region. I'll be 